All right, so we've got a patient scenario. An older client is admitted to the hospital with nausea and abdominal pain. The client has a history of seizures, depression, decreased gastric motility. What medication does nurse question? So let's, okay, who's our patient? So our patient is an older person. They got nausea, abdominal pain, seizures, depression, and a history of decreased slow gastric emptying. Okay, and what's going on right now? They're getting admitted. So the nurse is looking at the meds. Which nurse does the nurse, which medicine does the nurse question? In other words, we're looking for a bad medication for this patient who's older, has slow gastric emptying and seizures and depression. All right, so we've got four, carbamazepine, hydromorphone, metoclopramide, and omeprazole. Hmm. So these are good meds to know. These are common meds to know. All right, so carbamazepine, as you know, is a anti-convulsant drug. What effects might it have on the GI system? Hmm, none really. Hydromorphone. Hydromorphone is a um, opioid, a narcotic drug. What effect does that have on the GI system? Well, it tends to slow it down. You know, it causes uh, um, a slowing of the um, peristalsis. It also causes urinary retention, slows everything down. Uh, metoclopramide. Metoclopramide is a GI motility um, stimulant. So, okay, so that actually speeds up GI motility. And omeprazole, that's a proton pump inhibitor. It's for ulcers. It cuts down on stomach acid. All right, so which one would you question? I'm not going to question the carbamazepine. It's got nothing to do with it. The hydromorphone? Yeah, I'm going to question that because that slows down GI transit time. Metoclopramide is a very appropriate drug. Won't question it. Omeprazole? Won't question it. All right, so we've got the hydromorph hydromorphone. So remember, opioids slow down GI transit time. All right, so constipation, a favorite topic in nursing, right? Um, hydromorphone is an opioid like meperidine, morphine, codeine, hydrocodone. Just be familiar, all the, all the, um, for the most part, all the um, opioids have the same side effect profile. Meperidine is a little different. It has the same side effects for the most part, but it also causes neurotrans uh, toxicity. So just remember that it builds up and causes neurotoxicity. People get like shaky and twitchy. Okay. Um, opioids slow down the GI tract, decrease gastric motility. Constipation is the inevitable side effect. So who are you going to think about with this? Who is it that's going to have a problem with slow GI transit? Well, don't give it to somebody who's already got slow GI transit time. Being elderly makes things slow down there. Being on other opioids makes things slow down. And the big one, diabetics get gastroparesis. So you really want to think about those patients who already have slow GI transit. And if they need something for pain, they should get non-narcotic drugs. You want to question it, suggest it to the physician.